Our next guest, Marlo Thomas, is a four-time Emmy Award-winning actress, best-selling author, entrepreneur, and activist. For 19 years, she has shared stories of the work done at St. Jude's Children's Hospital, Research Hospital, and it's just an amazing mm -hmm. work. And this morning, she's returning to her acting roots, guest starring in a new Hallmark holiday movie. It's called A Magical Christmas Village. Your mom never believed in it, but I think this village is magic. In fact, I know it is. It's full of Christmas spirit and possibility. Really? Mm -hmm. You just make a wish and watch what happens. Where do the people go? Anywhere you want. Oh, Chloe, let your imagination fly. Oh, Marlo, good morning to you. Good morning. I love that you can look at that and smile. You look good. Well, you know, I just love magic. Yeah. You know, and I love to believe that there is magic. And in this movie, I, I play the grandma that brings the magic to the family. And, of course, my daughter doesn't believe it. Allison Sweeney, who's this terrific actress and fabulous, she doesn't believe in it. But the granddaughter really, you know, she takes, takes it right away. And I think it's so true in families that grandmothers and granddaughters they really make it together because the mom has to be sure you do your homework and all that. So many rules. I know. Yes. And my grandmother was hysterical. She used to play the drums in a beer garden in Pasadena. Really? Anyway, she's the Italian grandmother. She was the <laughs> funniest woman. And when my mom would let me stay over at her house, We'd have spaghetti for breakfast and Coca-Cola. I mean, it was That's like... That's why you loved her. It was, yeah. loved yeah. her. I loved That's her. Awesome. <laughs> and I think so, so this, this movie would resonate with so many people just because there are so many now intergenerational families together. Exactly. As we get to the holidays, it, it becomes so much more important. Absolutely. And I think that's what's going to be relatable about it, especially the fact that the generations are, think so differently. Mm -hmm. You know, the moms really have to get the trains to run on time. Mm -hmm. The grandmothers can be as flighty and lovely and, and magical as they want. And, and it makes you think, is there magic? Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, you know, yes, there is. Exactly. I, I there is. Yeah. This isn't your first holiday movie, but it's no. been quite a few years yeah. since you, you've the done late, your last one, In the right? late 70s, I did a movie called wow. It Happened One Christmas, oh. uh, where I played the Jimmy Stewart part. We, we remade It's a Wayne. Wonderful Life, and I played Jimmy Stewart's part. Oh, and the interesting thing is, is that Wayne Rogers played my husband, who was the Donna Reed part in the Jimmy Stewart. So for me to play Jimmy Stewart, all my lines were exactly the same, but we had to make a whole world, a whole career for Wayne Rogers mm -hmm. because he couldn't be Donna Reed and sure. stay home with the children. So it was, uh, the, then, uh, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. you know, talk about inequality of, <laughs> of right? roles. Mm -hmm. you, one of the things we always enjoy talk, uh, talking to you about is, is your hubby. 42 mm -hmm. years now, you've been married to that fellow named Phil yeah. Donahue. How's, how's he doing? How's he's Phil great. Going? He's great. Oh, look at you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He uh, he loves to watch talk shows. And, <laughs> I can't imagine why. And scream at the set. That's not the question. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can so see that. Uh, no. I love it. I love it. Uh, well, you've done so many different things over the over the years, on screen, off screen. I know, obviously, St. Jude is near and dear to your heart. Um, you know, there was a patient that was sent into space the last time we yes. talked. Yes. What are some other exciting things that you guys have going on? You know what's really exciting, and I think you... You, I think you said something about it one day. Uh, we have, uh, we're the only children's hospital that took Ukrainian patients. Mm. And uh, Jill Biden and I uh, met them when they arrived, the moms and the kids. And uh, it was very exciting because here they had fled war and fear and everything, and they came to a, a safe place. And can you imagine for their parents? I mean, at the end of the day, there are all these things going on, but your child's health is at stake. Absolutely. And the one mother really made me cry because she said I, she left her daughters behind and her oh. husband just to bring her son. She says, I have to save his life. Mm. Oh I know. And you know, and they hugged me and we had an interpreter, of course, and somebody said to me, what did they say? And I said, you know, gratitude doesn't need a translator. Need words. You really uh, feel, absolutely. you really Reverse felt mind. that. And I was Thank grateful you. that they came. I said to them, this is, we built this place mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. If you didn't come, what would we do? Yeah. Marla, we need Thank you. you. But thank God done. they're doing well, all eight of them. Oh, yeah. that's great. All right. Well, thank you for coming in. A Magical Christmas premieres tonight on the Hallmark Channel at 8 p.m. And you can catch all the Hallmark holiday movies. You said this, streaming on Peacock. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.